being able to go create work plans in events is very important. So again, when we start working, you'll find that you've got your origin plan, so your YZ, your XZ, and your XY plan already set up for you. Now, it's very good practice to be able to go, well, it's very good practice when you start drawing anything, you know, draw it in relation to that, um, that zero, zero point, um, or those origin work plans and work axes, um, so that when you do go in and bring everything together in assembly, it's much easier and much more stable than if you had to just start drawing it randomly. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at how to create work plans. So with work plans, you'll see at the top of your work features, we've got those work plans over there. Now, if you know how to create work plans, you can just use this work plane, the, the, the straight old plane, and by selecting different objects, lines, faces, points, um, invent, and, and this after you know the second object that you that you select, Inventor will know what type of work plane you are you want to create. If you want to be more specific, um, then you can select one of these and just go and create a work plane, but it'll just go and create, for instance, offset from plane or parallel to plane from point. Whereas with work plane, it will create any of these depending on what you click first and what you click second. So I'm going to go through these and just show you how they work. So offset from plane, select offset from plane, then you go to a flat surface or flat plane, and you say right, click on it, it brings up an offset distance, and you can say 10 or 100, and you'll see there that it will go and offset a work plane 100 parallel on that face over there. Then the next one we've got is your parallel to plane through a point. So if we look over here on this side, <clears throat> I've got three work points over here. So I'm going to say I want it to be, let's use this one, parallel to that plane through that point over there. Or let's go do it again, but on something that's not, um, not, not that plane over there. So parallel to that plane through that point. Okay. So now what you can see is that that plane over there is parallel to that face that we've created over there. I'm just going to bring this end of part up over here so we, it's a bit more visible to what we want to do. The next work plane that we're going to do is mid plane, mid plane between two planes. So I'm going to say mid plane between that plane and that plane. So you'll see there it strikes a balance stroke through the middle there. It doesn't just work on faces that are parallel. They don't have to be parallel either. So I'm going to say right mid plane through that face and that face. So there you can see that I've got my work planes running straight through the middle over there. The next work plane we're going to take a look at is your uh, mid plane of a torus. Now to go create a torus, if you look at your, uh, your primitives over here, we can just go and create a torus. So I'm going to create a torus on that face over here. And let's just go and say how big we want it. And then it's going to go create a torus over there. So we've got the plane, mid plane of a torus, select the torus, and you'll notice there that it puts a work plane straight through the middle of that torus over there. And yeah, we don't need that anymore. The next one we've got is angle to a plane around an edge. So, you know, if we want to go drill maybe a hole, a sort of angular on that face over there, select the face, flick the edge, and then you can actually go and grab this and actually, you know, tilt it and see what angle you want over there. Or you can just type in the angle that you want. And there you go, you've got your angle to angle to a plane on an edge. The next plane that we've got is three points. So I've got three points over here. Let's say maybe one, okay, but I'm gonna do this one, two, and three. So we'll create a work plane that runs through those three points over there. The next work plane we've got is two coplanar edges. So I can say I'd like it to run from there and there. So it runs through those two edges over there. So it can either be an edge on, on a part or a body, or it can be two work, work axes that you've created as well. The next one we've got is tangent to a surface through an edge. Okay, so tangent 
to a surface. And let's make it this edge over here. So notice how then it slices, it's tang tangent to this cylindrical surface we have over here, and it goes through that edge over there. Now do that again, but on the other side. So tangent to that surface, and let's say through that edge over there. So you can see how it runs over there. The next work plan that we're going to create is tangent to surface through a point. So what I've done over here, you'll see there notice that I've actually created a work point over there. So if I create, you can create a work point with it. And I say tangent to that surface through that work point over there. So now what we do is you can see there that it is tangent on that, through that point on that surface. Then tangent to surface and parallel to a plane. Okay, so let's say, right, I want it to be tangent to that surface over there. Okay, so not doesn't really show what it is, but if it was angled at a different angle, um, you know, it would have it would have uh, done it at a different angle, parallel to a different face over there. Okay. Then uh, tangent to surface and parallel to plane. So we've just done that. And then normal to axis through a point. So this now, I can say it must be normal to um, that axis through a point. So you can see there that it's normal. So this, this uh, work plane runs straight down and that axis running from the left to the right is normal to that work plane running straight down over there. And the last one we've got is normal to curve at a point. So I've drawn a curve over here, a spline, and say for instance I want to maybe draw something on that because maybe it's going to be flexible hose. So I can say right on that curve over there and you'll see that it is now normal to that curve over there. Okay. And then you can go draw on that maybe a circle and then go and sweep it across. So those are the different ways that you can create a plane um, through this. And you know this these are uh, these these commands I think they come from mechanical desktop. So if you have been around during the mechanical desktop times, this will look familiar to you. Thank you very much for watching.